hi and welcome to my java netbean tutorial in this tutorial i've actually developed a graphic in fact it's a very beautiful graphic that shows the uh, well which include the use of a timer for loop and uh, random randomization of colors so let me take you into the programming area so that you see how I've put it all together and uh, right here I've imported the following even if you don't import it once you've written the program the system will actually prompt you to import the following so that's Java AWT abstract windows 2 and this is uh, the 2d graphics okay then the next one is the action event and the timer now in the private void the uh, form window activate that is the event procedure that I used to activate my code so up here the first thing I did was to set the background color look at the code to black you don't have to but I just set mine to black then the second part or the second line of the code is I actually define the variable for the timer that I intend to use and I set the timer interval to 500 I can always increase that or reduce it and here I define my 2d graphics now for the first column right here I declare a loop a for loop then set my color if you look at the for loop is uh, integer j equals 1 j less than and equals to 20 you can always reduce that to 10 or whatever you want and j plus plus so what that would do is it will make it go around the go around the colors 20 times you can increase it you can reduce it so I've set the color right here and here are the random color I intend to use this color is actually in R G B format. Now that is my rectangle. The coordinate of the rectangle, the first one is set, the width is 100 and the length is 800. Because I've set it to be a 2D, so I set that to force. So exactly the same thing was repeated for the rest but one thing you must be careful of is once you start your for loop you must always end it right here that's why you have for my column one I have my bracket and I ended the bracket end column one and the same thing was repeated for column two make sure you notice the coordinate the width and the height stays the same the only bit that changes here is just the coordinate and I've always used a comment to end my column there so that you guys know so the next let me just move down so that you see the next one that's number four column four and column five I'll we'll take you to column six and seven column six seven exactly the same thing the only difference is just the coordinate that I changed now let's go to eight and nine that's it right there column eight and column eight column nine and column nine okay let me show you one thing right underneath if you set a define this timer you must always start it down here else the timer will not do anything you must say timer does start so remember that and that will be the end of this code every other thing in here was defined by the system by java net being itself the only bit that i wrote is all the code that i've just shown you guys up to here 
so I'll just show it to you one more time make sure you import the following right here come right down start your coding from here and that will be all for this uh, brief tutorial so let me go back to the design itself as the design guys you can see the colors changing uh, randomly without any help from anyone it's just because I've used the timer to make that work so I'm gonna call this the end of this program for now so I'll see you guys later you have a nice one now